Let's go, girls. Hello and welcome to your two drunk aunties with Bron Lewis and Sammy Peterson. We are both of those people. I'm Sammy Peterson and I'm your auntie who constantly tells you awful things about everyone, but as soon as you say something bad, she snaps and tells you to wash your goddamn mouth out. (laughs) And I'm Bron Lewis and I'm the auntie who thinks her husband's an idiot. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'm Tom Allard and I'm the auntie who gives you a big hug. Oh, that's That's so nice. Whether you want it or not. (laughs) Got you a beauty. Welcome to your two drunk aunties. Tom, welcome to your two drunk aunties. Gorgeous to have you here, Tom. Let's go, girls. We're, let's yes. go, girls. Oh. We're, we're, we're having thrilled. a jans. We're, we're thrilled. Oh, you, with Tom it. isn't. Tom isn't having a jans. Are Tom's we, just doing non-drinking. We'll pretend that you are. Yeah. Yeah. Is this is this um, ruining the drunk no, auntie premise? No. If I uh, yes, off yeah. the booze. <laughs> I'm saying no. Bron's saying yes. Yeah. I'm a caffeinated auntie. You are with it's your okay. scomo. I got you a gorgeous Scott Morrison mug. Oh fuck! Which I didn't is even lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know you're a big fan of our ex prime minister. Scott Morrison and our current Prime Minister, John Howard. Does it taste like raw curry? (laughs) (laughs) Tastes like cunt. (laughs) Um, Now, Tom, what's your relationship like with drunk aunties? Because I know when you rocked mm. up and we told you we've been recording for four hours and (laughs) I think you're worried that we were a little bit drunk so far. (laughs) I feel like any drunk auntie would have had a nap before Mm. within four hours. They couldn't go four hours straight. Late lunch, you know? Yes. (laughs) A big nap. For a snooze. (laughs) I, I love all my aunties mm. I, and they don't, they're not the types of people because my, I only have aunties on my dad's side. My dad has two sisters mm-hmm. and the Ballard genes are highly organised, highly punctual, yes. highly effective, quite, cons- not not politically conservative, but socially conservative. Just yes. bragging like, about yourself. <laughs> yeah. really. I'm smart. always punctual. I'm very smart. I'm good no, at everything. I'm just saying that's my dad's family. And yeah. so the idea, my dad doesn't even drink that much too. So Loser. the idea of getting drunk is a, he's a, not and a an virgin. Auntie. Yeah. He's not, not, an even, auntie. not even an auntie. <laughs> You're a real auntie. <laughs> <laughs> so normally at any kind of family function, they're often organising stacks and taking care of everything. Yep. And they don't have that moment where they have heaps of shardies and let you know what they really think. Oh. That's just oh. not a very ballad thing to do. Now I'm fully so aware that, that, you know, like there are lots of, there are, you know, you, you have chosen aunties as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and, and you've done comedy for a long time. You've met a lot of drunk aunties. I've met a lot of drunk aunties, <laughs> yes. Yes, people with serious problems. Oh, <laughs> aunties that love to heckle, I think are always going to be oh, fun. They're good. Yes. yes. <laughs> they're yes. the fun ones. Yeah, I get quite a few boomer ladies who have organised all their friends to come along and uh, want to have a grand old time. Yeah. Comedy or karaoke, the big two. And the do, next you, do you? Is that do you have a, a do you have a, a, even though all of your, a lot of the things you say is anti boomer stuff, but there's a huge section of like um, of politically engaged boomers. Boomers are more right. politically engaged than most. Yeah, yes. who watch the ABC yes. and who know that they're one of the good boomers. So yeah. they come along and they're like, "Oh, that silly Tom with his anti boomer <laughs> yeah. thing." That yeah. silly, silly Tom silly loves sausage. the refugees. <laughs> that bloody Tom. <laughs> Always going on about the refugees. <laughs> it's, I think people, who, you know, Rod Quantock doesn't gig anymore, so they've transferred. Ah, uh, great. Oh, great. Right. You're oh, the new Rod Quantock. I guess so. <laughs> I guess. Thank you, I guess. Oh, I, I would love to be the next Rod Quantock, but I just, yeah, maybe it's just me. Yeah, Captain Snooze And so you have here. no, so a bit like, does your mum have friends that are like a little bit, because a lot of my mum's friends we call aunties. Right. Mm. Okay, she sure. grew up with that. Yes. Um, and, you know, like Aunty Sue. Loved love to get maggot on a Friday afternoon with Great. mum in the backyard. Yes. And then she'd say lots of things. Like if, if there was no Tim Tams left, she'd say this, I'll vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Just fun stuff like yeah. that. It's always encouraging exactly. words. Yeah. Which you weren't sure whether you should be worried or not. You're like, is she going to? Is she going to Is she going to chunder? Imagine yelling vomit before you vomit. Vomit! <laughs> like heads before you throw a bowl at someone. <laughs> heads! Vomit! <laughs> But she, so I consider her one of my aunties, even though obviously there's no blood relation. The spiritual auntie, yes. So do you have? Did you blood have auntie? With them? Have you ever cut your hand and, and shook hands with a <laughs> with, blood auntie? With Sue Dalton, as I have, <laughs> as we all have it at some point. Sphere <laughs> allegiance. Um, yeah, I mean, again, my mum's uh, friends are all very. Lovely. They don't get too pissed up. They meet for coffee every week. I all think. right, let's move so on to the first sensible. segment. <laughs> well, actually, this is lovely. but I'm thinking about um, you know some spicier characters. And my mum, <laughs> on my uh, my my uncle, that is my 
uh, dad's sister's husband's sister. She'd be punctual. <laughs> yes. Um, she's a lovely lady, but she's very spiritual, loves the crystals, was not crazy about the vaccines, Great. once tried to that. hook me up with a 46-year-old man when oh. I was 24, I think. Oh, yeah. Hell oh, yeah. Let me just say this. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> You're looking for a good time or not? Thanks, Hell Harley yeah. Jude. <laughs> And just, you know, he's a gay man that she knew. I was gay. Yeah. What it makes sense. Wrong? Yeah. <laughs> it's all Fine. you need, isn't it? So your stars aligned. That's, That's right. One. Crystal, your chakra. <laughs> your chakra, if you will. Stick this up your chakra. <laughs> and then mum has a friend, this lady Maria, who I who was a teacher and was always like a very um, uh, very intelligent woman and she wrote all this stuff and like did a lot of, I think she had a book published and when I was a kid I was sort of, you know, wanted to be creative and write stuff and always looked up to Maria and was interested in what she was up to. She has since gone down the anti-vax Clive Palmer route. No. Um, Good route to go down. Yep. Oh. I agree with everything. Well, she's found the truth. <laughs> oh, well, that's right. She did her own research. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> And mum, mum still feels this obligation to catch up with her every now and again because she has been ostracised by some other friends. But um, I guess that's not well, as that's fun, is it? Is wow, it? your yeah. parents seem so Real down nice. <laughs> yeah, lovely so people nice. around. Yeah. This is nice. Well, anyway, let's move on to the next segment. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good for comedy, is it? Um, segment one, Tom, is letter to your aunties. Okay. Now, we have two gorgeous listener letters. We've got the first one today. Dear aunties. I kissed a colleague at a work party and went back to his place. Okay. I don't want anything. It was a silly mistake and a casual hookup, but I don't know how to break it to him that I don't want anything more without hurting his feelings. Mm. Harriet, I think you should get married. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you owe it to him. (laughs) You kissed him. Christ. Goodness gracious. Kids these days. It's Kids Christmas. These days. It's know? Christmas, for God's sake. <laughs> Just say it to him. God, what's wrong with him? Why does he look like he's about to cry all the yeah, time? Yeah, why is he always looking Some like he's people crying? people look like they're always about to cry. Is that true? Or yeah. you're just around people because you always intimidate people and make them cry? Because I'm always yelling at them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's, That's your vibe. Why That's you a good like vibe you're to about me. to cry? <laughs> yeah, what's that saying? If everyone you meet is an asshole, maybe you are. <laughs> if everyone you meet is about to cry, what the fuck? Maybe you you're a drunk auntie. No, but you don't think those people <laughs> they always look really worried. Yeah, and yeah. And you're like, I, I don't, I'm nervous about saying anything to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can't say anything. Can't like, say anything. Oh, God, you can't say anything anymore you these look fat. days. You can't yeah. say it. You can't say you just that have anymore, to be Tom. Like, are you all right? And they're like, yeah, why? You can't even say that. You can't even they're, say they're, that. Now they're paranoid. God, the woke police, Tom. Gee, oh, PC gone mad. <laughs> PC gone mad. What would you do, Tom, in this situation if you I wouldn't kiss a woman? Work, you would a, never kiss a woman. <laughs> Swear he first went wrong. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Troubles begin. <laughs> and I certainly wouldn't work with one. I tell you that much. <laughs> God, they're shrill. Uh, this oh. this country went down the drain when they started letting them into the office. <laughs> yabbity, 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 <laughs> bloody. Look at this over here, bloody, yeah. Is drunk uncle a thing? I feel like I'm yeah, going to be yeah, a drunk uncle. Yeah, you can be a drunk uncle. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's actually fits. perfect. I just it's go right wing. Fits. I'm 65, just yelling at my knees. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking alpha cunts. <laughs> you fucking alpha. <laughs> Um, I would love some more detail as to why Harry is interested. Maybe it was the sex terrible. Can Maybe. We that? Yeah. The sloppy kisser. Oh, you. Oh, horrible. Horrible kisser. Oh, oh, sloppy. Yeah, that sort of noisy. stuff. Noisy. Yeah. You just. What do you do? Oh, you stop doing cunnilingus on? noises, Tom. <laughs> is that what that is? I don't know. I'm not sure. I know Bron <laughs> hates sex, so I don't want to talk about Is that about what you sex. do when you're doing cunnilingus? Nom, 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 this has gone to the dogs. <laughs> has anyone has anyone ever done that? Has a guy been going to the woman? Bron answer him. <laughs> done it and, then, and then looked up and gone. Oh my That is God. terrifying. <laughs> that is terrifying. So but I'm upset. sure it's happened at some I point. I can't breathe. That's how upset Look, I am. Look, what do you do? So say he's a sloppy kisser, he did that. I mean for whatever after reason. Love. But surely that's a very common uh, situation in that mm. if he had soberly asked her out and yeah. they went out on a date and yes. then it didn't work out, it might be a bit more hurtful or yeah. a bit more awkward to say, yeah. oh, actually, no, thank you. This yes. is based on your personality and who yes, you are. exactly. As opposed to being like, <laughs> I was drunk, we hooked up, yeah. um, I'm, I'm flattered, it was a fun time, but I, I'm not really interested yeah. in it. That's I, I feel like most people would be a bit more receptive to that. Yeah, that's a normal yeah, way to do it. Less than than a more considered sober approach. I, I would hire someone. <laughs> like I would get on Star Now, get an actor to be a jealous boyfriend oh, that comes like around. Who, who they're still dating. Knuckle dusters. Yeah, knuckle like, dusters. Back off. <laughs> yeah. Back off. Leave my girlfriend alone. That is so. Bang cool. on his door late at night. Oi. 
With knuckle dusters. With knuckle dusters. It was so because. loud. And the door will be damaged and the warning is like, oh, yeah, I know he's been here. Yeah, and it says her name in the in the knuckle. So yeah. it's like, yeah, it's her name imprinted in the door. That is That's genius. fun. That is actually Because he wouldn't. Fun. He'd just be like, all right, well, I probably won't go out with her. Yeah, anymore. I probably won't go out with her anymore. It's actually. I don't like her anymore. You've solved it. You don't solved it? What would you do, Bron Lewis, in a situation like this? I would say what I feel. Okay. What no would that be? Likes it. I, I didn't like your kiss. I didn't like it. I don't want to do it. I didn't want to do your kiss. <laughs> I didn't want to do I it. I didn't like your kiss. I didn't, felt sorry for you. Oh, oh it's like you kissed God. him. That's awful. What an awful thing to say. No, I wouldn't say that. I would say this. I regret it. <laughs> I deeply <laughs> regret our kiss. Yeah. That's that was one I of the say. worst kisses I've ever well, it's had. Obviously, what she's feeling. Yeah. Just say, look, it's not you, but I do really regret getting that close <laughs> to you. <laughs> It's not you, but I hate everything about you. Yeah. <laughs> and they just go along. And if this makes you feel uncomfortable, just get a different job. Yep. Move on like with you your life. Like you leave. No. It's fine for you. It's doing You're fine. Doing great. Yeah. Kissing His people. Fault of kissing you when you're a fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. I think it solved that problem. <laughs> Dear aunties, my mate has made up a girlfriend, always showing pictures of a model he has met online. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know how to tell him in a nice way that it's getting embarrassing. Morgan, what do you think Morgan should do, Tom? Uh Okay, so does the guy know that Morgan knows that that's not his real girlfriend? <laughs> I think he said it's getting embarrassing, so I guess maybe there's been a conversation. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's like stock photo across yeah, her yeah. face. She's got <laughs> Getty images. <down> the way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but hang on. What is this guy trying to achieve? Well, he's just showing Kendall Jenner, I think, on his phone, just going, that's my girlfriend. But Look that's going to that. stop you getting an actual girlfriend. Yeah, I think he's just maybe trying to impress the one. boys. Yeah, maybe he's yeah. gay. Also, is this what you've done before? Have you done that? Have you pretended you dated <laughs> Kendall Jenner? You? Are you Morgan? I had a no. great story about my girlfriend in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Seinfeld episode. Can we make that clear? Is George Costanza. Yes. Oh, he has yes. the wedding ring as a photo. He cuts it out for a monologue. Then he goes to the cool party where yeah. a whole bunch of models and they're like, that's me. It's a photo of me, you idiot. <laughs> you oh idiot. God. Pretending you it's idiot. his dead, his dead fiancé. That's right, yes. That's fun. Maybe you could do that. Yeah, just watch Seinfeld. Figure it out. Yeah, my, she died. That's fun. She died. <gasps> well, the there is. I love those. Do you, do you guys watch that documentary about there's a footballer who went out with this woman who uh, it was a trans woman who was just, just uh, absolutely tricked him into thinking <gasps> that she was a complete like this total babe. Mm, no, and I haven't. She seen was. That. It was not. It was catfish. He was so catfished. Is this a TV show, like Catfish? Super, <laughs> no, <laughs> but he was. It was a footy player in America, and he was like so in love with her, and then she. Um, uh, and then he just kept being like, he announced like he was like he, he had a girlfriend and everything to like the world because he was like quite a babe. Yeah. So all of these women were like throwing them. And he was like, no, no, I've got a girlfriend. I've, I've got, got a girlfriend. Got, she's got, a total got, babe. Got, she's a huge She's babe. a Getty image girl <laughs> from way back. And then, uh, and then uh, when it got down, like when he was like, I have to meet you, she was like, oh, I'm really sorry. You can't, you can't, you can't. I don't and, exist. And then she faked her own death. <gasps> wow. Oh, this is huge. And so he was devastated. So he like came out and, and like had to like, Announced to like the like the whole world. I'm really sad because my my fiance. Just oh died. yeah, okay. And I everyone was like, "Oh, what?" So sudden. then people just well, you don't have to because I've just told you. And then they all they, 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 <laughs> yeah. I like it die. when you explain things really quickly. <laughs> it takes all the joy out of watching something when you explain it really quickly in great detail. <laughs> That's what armies do. <laughs> That's actually true. And then they all right. Do and like then, Sophie's Choice now. <laughs> <laughs> Shinless list. Give yeah, us the one do minute. every episode of Friends real quick. The boy. And then, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Spoiler alert. What's that? that? <laughs> but this is a spoiler wouldn't? episode. Girls are trouble. Girls are trouble. I've always said it. Yeah. I always prefer my boys to my girls. <laughs> girls are always hard work. Oh, they, are tr- they are trouble. No, they are trouble, Tom. They oh, are trouble. God. You'd know this. You'd this know that. Why that's why you've chosen yes. your lifestyle. Well, that's why I've chosen your lifestyle and whatnot. <laughs> and why I think they should be kept out of the office. Yes. <laughs> Did you say a trans woman? I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. And was the fake, was she a trans woman mm. who presented as a cisgendered woman who was very attractive or she used fake photos and All everything? Fake. Oh, I see. I see oh, I see, I see. wow. All very, very fake. Yes. So I think when he originally started, I think the trans, I think, well, she, so she transitioned over time. Sure. So I think that started as a man and transitioned to a woman. Yeah. And so, and it was not, it was, abs- she looked absolutely nothing like the photos she was presenting. Gotcha. Oh, same. <laughs> That's got nothing on the <laughs> Casey Donovan there. catfish story though. Oh my oh, God. I love oh a catfish story so much. Oh my God. Like, you got to read the friend? Casey Donovan one. Wasn't yeah, the housemate. It was her best friend and the man, <sighs> the fake man told Casey, if you love me, you have to have sex with your best friend. 
And so they did. I shouldn't laugh. It is pretty awful. Oh, there are, I was at Kay, had Casey Donovan and Rob Millsy Mills, uh, at Mo- Rob Millsy Mills, sorry, his handle, uh, at Rob Millsy Mills <laughs> on a um, podcast together. And Rob said his advice to someone, just catfish them. Oh, and no. then Casey went, oh, I've had experience with that, Rob. <laughs> oh, my. Did most he of know? My, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's like, he he like, like, oh, my God. Like, oh, the, the best moment. Oh, <laughs> my God. So, yeah, so you're saying – in this situation, yeah, what is this? making up, <laughs> making up, <laughs> making up? Oh, uh, we oh, hate yes. women. Is that what yeah, we yeah, 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 we can all agree you on that. You can't trust them. You can't trust them. <laughs> They're snakes. Even all though he's snakes. lying, it is yeah. her fault. It somehow. is her fault <laughs> somehow. <laughs> somehow. And we'll find that answer. <laughs> no, okay. So making up the girlfriend, would you? Oh. Would you? I'd say she died. Oh, okay. so your problem she solving died. his or Morgan's? Uh, Morgan's. I'm saying. So Morgan's she saying, died. "What do I do?" Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm problem solving. You're, yeah, Morgan. So you're the. Uh, yeah. I reckon Morgan should go to his friend and just say, just say she died. Just say she died and try and oh, find so an actual yeah. real woman. But yeah. again, I do not know the plan or the advantage of saying, look at my hot fake model. Let me girlfriend. ask you this Do you need one when you're an awesome guy? <laughs> what? When you're an awesome guy, do you, you need a plan? Cool. Just showing photos of models going, that's my girlfriend. But surely you want an actual girlfriend. Yeah, nah. you do. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> photos no, he want, enough. He wants that girlfriend. Yeah, uh, I love catching people out. It's one of my favourite things to do. Okay, it's got me in a lot of trouble before. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you right now. <laughs> but just like all drunk aunties, I yeah. love catching people out. Yeah. And I love watching them dig a hole. That's so and you just like, oh, this is. I want to see just how far down. Yeah, this hole. you know yeah. what you do if you're Morgan. You're in a social uh, situation with your friend. Yes, in a conversation with other people who do not know that's a fake girlfriend. Yeah, and you just say, "Oh, cool. Well, you should invite her to the party tonight." Yeah, it's easy, no, that's an easy one to get come. out of. She can't come. She's she's donating. She died in a plane crash. <laughs> Okay, why she's don't we? Dead. She's donating her time to she's in the plane crash. Why don't you change it halfway through? Yeah. Why don't you FaceTime her now? We can have a chat. We can meet her and stuff. She doesn't she have a phone. She's giving out autographs. She doesn't have arms. You're showing me a photo of this girl <laughs> on your phone. She doesn't have arms. They're what do you arms well, And she can't lift up a phone. What, you think people with no phones can't FaceTime? That's true. I believe I that. She with that's one of my true beliefs. Look, a, she has arms in this photo. Um, I just died. <laughs> That's the only way There's out. There's always a way out. There's always a way out. Always you can always get out. your way out of You're any situation. You're good at this. Yeah, Thank you so much. Yeah. And scene. <laughs> Improv. Look it up. <laughs> if you have a listener letter, why don't you write in to deardrunkaunties at gmail.com or if you want to leave us a little speak pipe, we can hear your gorgeous voice. Brom would love that. I do love that. We had a person call in once and it was one of my favourite moments. Oh, it was life. beautiful. It was so good. Was they so were from fun. America, weren't they? They were from America. Wow. The United they States y'all? of America. Y'all. Killed me. Yeah. Ron thought they were really from me Scotland pink. for a little bit. Because <laughs> <laughs> they did say donkey a lot, okay. which I believe is Scottish. I'm for Scottish, Eddie Murphy, y'all. he dressed up as a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the next segment, Live, Laugh, Love. Uh, now, Tom, I've got some gorgeous jokes, and I want to see what you think of these. Yeah, All right, some you funny can use jokes. them if you want. You can, use these. you can use these. Thank you very much. I know a lot of jokes about unemployed people, but none of them work. <laughs> yeah, it's not fair. Someone stole my mood ring yesterday. I still don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> okay, well, um, <laughs> yeah. Do we just, hang on. Yeah. Is this segment we just hear these jokes? Yeah, you just hear them. You okay. do, do not laugh unless you feel Unless it. you mean it. Yeah. Unless you mean it. And if you hate it, say it. Say, say it. it. Okay. What did one saggy boob say to the other saggy boob? If we don't get some support, people will think we're nuts. <laughs> Testicles, Tom, you'd like that. I don't think that sags so much that people will confuse them with testicles. I think that's pretty unrealistic, actually. My wife says... Nor would they talk. (laughs) Okay. See, comedy's about truth. You need to be rooted in the real world. You need a rule in this episode. You've got to say something about who you are and the human experience and, like, politics normally. Tom's not live laughing or loving right now. (laughs) My wife says I'm getting fatter, but to be fair, I've had a lot on my plate recently. Yeah. You can't hear it, but Tom is laughing his fucking ass. Because you know when him. someone laughs so much, it's just yeah. silent. <laughs> he didn't even ba ha 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 because he was he above that. He's wheezing. I'm, I'm trying to organise a hide and seek tournament, but to be honest, it's really hard to find good players. I emphasize the find because I thought that was fun. That's good. Gee. Why did the golfer bring two pairs of pants in case he got a hole in one? <laughs> See, that's fun. No one got hurt then. I like that. Got two more and then it's all over. A man walked into a doctor's office, sits down and says, Now, doctor, this may sound kind of strange, but I have five penises. Taken aback, the doctor says to him, My God, how do you find, how do your pants fit? To which the man replies, Like a glove. <laughs> Where's a glove? It's <laughs> 
<laughs> what does the mafia? You like this one, bro? The delivery there would be better if it did the Jim Carrey. Like a glove. <laughs> like a glove. <laughs> Great impression. Thank you. I'll do Elmo and Hugh Grant in a bit if you need it. What does the mafia and a pussy have in common? Oh. One slip of the tongue and you're in deep shit. That's disgusting. <laughs> That is putrid. Oh. Do you get it though? Like, I did, do you, do you get, get it? it? Like, do you get it? Are you not thinking about it because you don't get it? I'm so upset. <sighs> I hate. Oh. <laughs> and we're out. <laughs> Bron, are you ready for the next segment? Leave a night light on. Yes. Because it's spooky worky. Now, Tom, in this segment, Bron tells one of the scariest. <laughs> okay, hang on. What is stories. the full title of the segment? It's called Spooky Worky. Oh. Yeah, it's named by Russell Brand. Okay. Just joking. Right. And you were just telling us to leave a light. Oh, leave no, I'll leave you. That wasn't the full title of the segment. I thought the full title of the segment was leave a, a nightlight on because it's spooky working. <laughs> it like, should be called that. You could probably tighten that up a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> and the acronym's still too long. <laughs> Needs a it's tighten a whole up. alphabet. Now, we put okay, a little bit of spooky sorry. music under this, Tom, because it does okay. get a little bit scary. Oh, fuck. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, be careful. And the way I read it is really chilling. Terrifying. Okay. Terrifying. Okay, this spooky story that I, f- I find these on the internet. Mm-hmm. I don't make them up. On Google I sometimes. I wouldn't be able to. Mm. On Google, yeah. You heard of it? Mm-hmm. It's called The Monster Under My Couch. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking hell. Now, just for my background, are you uh, invested in the world of spooky work? You believe supernatural? You're into the ghosts and such? Nah. Okay. <laughs> but I love, a, I love a spooky story. Right. Shit. And sometimes she reads them at night sometimes. Yeah, well, fuck. Yeah. But I do get scared in my house. Do you? Ever? Um, like thinking there's an intruder or something. No, if you were thinking like uh, there's like a like the girl from the ring like crawling down your hallway. Mm-hmm. Do you ever think that? Something Don't really like have. That? A hallway. Do you ever think that? <laughs> do you ever think that? Tom? But you know, do you? Know yeah, what I mean? I've never thought like about. Like where it. your brain goes. Does your brain ever go? Do you know what would? Really you need to get the video or whatever to, to get the ring lady, don't you? I think you, yeah, Doesn't but she climb out of the logic TV? plays no part in fear. Yeah, yeah. I've got a scary big dog. Big dog. Mm-hmm. And so, so anytime, if she he, was running down that hallway, he'd fucking just eat her. She's crawling. She cr- so she's crawling. She's, she's doing crawling, a backwards which is crawl. Scarier, yeah. She would just, I reckon he would just eat her. Would he? Yeah. That's oh, you'd stick the dog on yeah, the, go, on the get, ring. Yeah, go get him. But get it's him. a girl in a 90. That's too aggressive. He'll get put down. He's killed him before. Oh, my God. Uh, that's spooky oh wookie. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's the end of spooky wookie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, All go right, on. Guys, listen. Uh, the. The monster under my couch. Oh my god, it's scary already. Kick it! That's when the music. <laughs> <laughs> it's an easy way in. I realised there is a hidden monster under my couch. Fuck. She realised. Mm. It all started when my food kept falling whilst I was trying to eat it. <laughs> Whoa, trying to eat it. So you're trying to eat your food, but you miss your mouth and it falls down the couch, and you go, "I'm not going to get that." <laughs> this is on the ground. It's on the ground. Okay. Yep. Sometimes I even clean the mess. I sometimes. It's a messy. <laughs> it's been taking me so long to read. It's careful, it's scary. Very scary. Sometimes I even clean the mess or I just keep it on the ground. <laughs> awesome. Tom, are you scared so far? <laughs> yeah. I love the whale with Brendan Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> she made a whale under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> but whenever I get up and back on my couch, the food is always gone. I know that no one's Get been up cleaning. Get and back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm look under the couch. Going, not there anymore. That's weird. <laughs> I mean, cannot, there's no logical explanation. So let's just keep on reading. Yep. <laughs> I know. I know that no one's been cleaning it up since I'm the only one in the house. Oh, it's hard God. to believe this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't see that coming. What a fucking twist. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a Shamalam tale. Yeah, I'm yeah, not Shamalam and them. Reddit, you'll never get believe this, <laughs> but I live alone. Holy shit. Can anyone relate to living in your own filth? <laughs> Am I the asshole? The food is inside the house. <laughs> it's suspicious because the table is slightly moved. Than the normal position of the table. Can you read that one more time? <laughs> <laughs> Can you just? I want to hear that one more okay. time. <laughs> it's, it's suspicious because the table is slightly moved than the normal position of the table. Yeah. All right, Stephen King. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The table Christ. is slightly moved. <laughs> so obviously, I just move the table back to the normal position obviously. and ignore the fact that there's a monster under the couch. Really? Sorry, he knows at this point. Just ignore that fact. 
One day after, my food fell again. <laughs> but this time, I will wait till it moves. Okay, the food fell again. Prison and past tense. <laughs> it's it's passive voice. It's like yeah. <laughs> it's like Israel doesn't kill people. Palestinians just die. The food just falls. <laughs> you dropped it, you fat fucker. <laughs> Okay. Um, Tom, how are you? Che- she was checking with you right yeah. now. Are you all right? Yeah, right. Just uh, <laughs> yeah, it's annoying, right? Because you go for wiki. monster bed, but the monster just cleans up your your trash. It's an Should awesome do. monster. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. And you can yeah. do, just ignore it. So sloppy fine. food. Yeah, it's actually a really nice monster. Sloppy jalopy under my couch right now. <laughs> it's your girlfriend. Okay. After an hour, <laughs> oh, we start dating. Wait, this is audience. good. This is good. After an hour of staring at it, <laughs> what? So goes down to the level and sees it. An hour well, staring I'm not, at it. It could just be sitting on the couch. Okay. He could just be sitting there. Yeah, I'm not true. sure, but he's staring yep. at it. Does not take his eyes off For it. an hour. For an hour. It's still there. Oh, no. Which is a relief. I guess. Yeah. So I just put my phone to the view of the full couch while getting ready to pack my things <laughs> to go to my favourite place. <laughs> Where do you think his favourite place is? Under the couch. Under the couch. KFC. Yeah, okay, well, that's pretty rude. I reckon it's probably church. And if you're thinking, (laughs) I forgot the phone, I didn't, because the one I left the phone is my other phone. Mm. Right. Two phones, always a good sign. After two days (laughs) of being at his favourite place, I came home and I knew the food was missing. But thank God the phone was still alive and it only had 6% left and it captured everything. Is it two days, did you say? Yeah. So the fil- phone's just filming for two days. Yeah. Yep. And that's spooky. It is, that's scary. That's, that's spooky. really scary. That's yeah. a, it's a miracle. That's a scary one. That's a scary, scary one. miracle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then I watched the full footage and and there I saw why the food kept missing. Or he knows that the food kept missing. While no one's even cleaning it. Mm-hmm. Why? Tom, are you scared or not at I'm this point? I'm just frustrated. What the fuck is it? <laughs> Okay. It's not spooky. Right, it, no, is no, okay. it is wookie. This is very wookie. Very wookie. Okay. okay. I saw a white figure coming out from under my couch. I got oh. chills and had a feeling it's staring at me right now oh whilst my God. I watched the video. But I still watched the full footage. Very brave. It's like, in a minute, I'm trying to watch something. <laughs> <laughs> the white figure got up and took the food. I couldn't see its face, but I know it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's scary. She knows, and she also knows the food's not there anymore. She's clever. Is she, he, I don't know. What I do have we to wake up pretty going? early to catch them out. Oh my god! I stopped the video where it went under the couch again. Just went back under the couch. Okay, that's god, where it lives. Be the worst place to live. After that, I put my phone on the couch and slowly got up and slowly crouched. <laughs> what? <laughs> slowly crouched. Okay, yep. Yeah. On the couch. I was so scared. Scaring the shit out of me, the story. But the mystery has to be finished before my head touches. I agree very strongly. Before my head touches the ground, my vision slowly (laughs) gets blurred. So much slowly. Last bit, guys, last bit. Hold on, careful. When I woke up, I realised I was now laying while I am at the hospital. (laughs) (laughs) What the hell? Okay. I am now laying while I am in hospital. Shit. <laughs> I saw my family around me. It was like 7pm or something. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor told my family that I am now awake. <laughs> the doctor told me. <laughs> You're awake now? She's Just in awake. case you didn't know. She's awake now. <laughs> the eyes open me, she's awake. There's a doctor. It's a qualified doctor. Yeah. The doctor, yeah. Eyes awake. Diagnosis, awake. Six, six yeah. years of medical school. <laughs> My family talked to me for a while, but then it's time they go home. Yeah, it's time they go home. I, I waved at my mum and dad. I can finally rest until the doctor rushed on the door and turned off the lights. <laughs> the doctor <laughs> rushed the door, turned off the lights. Oh, do you know how many words I've had to fix here to make a baby? <laughs> I don't <laughs> believe it. Okay, I'll, I'll read that. I'll read that and how, it, uh, how they actually wrote it then. I waved at mum and dad. I can finally rest until the doctor rushed on the door and turned off the lights. And he said, it's here. It's here. Don't make noise. I was afraid and I saw a brightness from outside. 
And there it was, the white figure on my couch. <laughs> bring the couch to hospital. Bring the couch. Because <laughs> it could only move with the couch. Well, the couch to hospital. Home. It's like a snail. Well, we live here now, do we? I'll be here. <laughs> I'm just waiting for your food. There's only source of sustenance. Where's my food at? <laughs> Throw it on the ground. So Diggs would follow me if I stopped feeding him too. I'm in hospital. Well, I'll bring the couch. Let's have some eats. Snail. Is that the end of the fucking story? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. What do you uh, think? That was scary, wasn't it? Spooky wooky. <laughs> that was spooky. That was, so Bron always finds his time, and it is so scary. The, yeah. the, so the, the amounts of stuff she finds yeah. out there. Sometimes sure. we can't finish it. Oh, God, that was the scariest one. That was, I reckon it's the scariest one. Yeah, I know I say this every that, week. <laughs> <laughs> One figure. What do you think would be the scariest thing your ghost could take at your house? Food. Food from the ground. Food from the ground. <laughs> stoked with that. Do they post the video? No, Tom, that's a secret. Oh, is it? <laughs> it's a secret it's video, a mystery. Tom. I'm just saying. They never post the video. documented evidence of a very spooky, wicky monster who steals food. It is quite <laughs> bigger. I think we want to see that, you know? Yeah. Well, the doctor turned off the lights, so. Just believe it. <laughs> Rush to turn off the lights. Of of lights. <laughs> Let's move on to the next segment. Would you rather oh. now, Tom? I've got a few questions here. Mm-hmm. Would you rather only be able to eat one meal for the rest of your life, or every time anyone loudly farts around <laughs> you, you have to say "bless you" and give them direct eye contact? So easy. Yeah, I guess I'd do that one. The Which one? The fart one. You do the fart one? Because it's just embarrassing for the farter. Who's farting that loudly? People would fart really loudly. So imagine like someone's <laughs> farting really loudly. <laughs> Don't dig, so fucking loud. But imagine if someone is farting <laughs> and loudly. And it's, it's not you. like people is <laughs> – that just <laughs> – that just happens as frequently as it does. It's not like yeah. the challenge is every day of your life someone farts loudly around yeah. you. It's just like whenever that happens, I just have to say bless you and give them full eye contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the fuck Really out loudly of here. in a place as well. Bless you. That's, you choose that one. Yeah, I chose that obviously. One, thank you. Would also, you rather have? <laughs> would you rather piss your pants every few weeks, mm. or watch your partner piss their pants in front of your friends every month? <laughs> <laughs> Come answer oh. the question. You, oh. you heard. Oh, wait, well, can I just for, how, like when you piss your pants? Mm. Is it by yourself? Like by in yourself. Your house? By yourself. Oh, it's easy. I guess do that one. Yeah. Instead yeah, of watching, watching your, your partner, partner <laughs> my God, there. Would you rather watch your partner be so humiliated with uh, yes. an audience? Yeah. With your well, closest, <laughs> your nearest and dearest friends every week. No I one. think that's fun. No one that's easy. All right. You got any? Got as long one. as I can explain to my partner what I've done. Yeah. Like say, okay. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't have to. He, uh, Had I a genie if appear. If I can just like, not explain that to him and he's like, why are you pissing your pants every few weeks? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like, you don't know what I've done. You don't what know what I've done. You are sacrificed. I've requested this. <laughs> Piss on my pants every day by myself. Okay. What about this? Um. Would you rather complete compete in the Olympics as a gymnast with the still, skills you've got now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, but you have to take it as seriously as possible. Mm-hmm. And, and I you would. have to let everyone know that you are taking it seriously. Like people are like cheering for you. Mm. Mm-hmm. Or do a eulogy for someone you've never met and everyone is expecting you to get it right? I do a eulogy for someone I've never met. But that's okay. Yeah, probably the eulogy. But you've never met them and the family, the grieving family are looking on. Do I get any research? No. Okay. I just got to riff it? You just turn up like they do in the movies and then you stand at the... the in all the and, movies, and Tom. You've seen any movie? In all the movies, I do that bit. Exactly. The Ring? I remember Let's do it in The Ring. It's one of my favourite bits in The Ring. Remember in Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer <laughs> where he, and Barbie where they gave a eulogy? Um, I've done a, I've done a speech for um, someone at a birthday uh, having a drink at a cocktail bar and uh, there was a bragging and there was um, there was a table of <coughs> two tables of people and they're all in this open place and someone said speeches no one was making a speech so I stood up and I gave a little you're my mother to, yeah and I gave a speech about this person I'd ever met. Oh, my God. What would you say? I just said how wonderful they were and they've always been a good friend and I told them remember the time in Cobo and um, we all laughed. I thought Cobo was a fun thing to say. It place doesn't sad. exist. And, uh, yeah, and we, we had a good time and everything. And then after it, he thanked me for making a speech. He said no one else was making a speech. It was lovely. Oh, it's speech. actually sad that no one made a speech. Yeah, no one wanted to make a speech. Especially yeah, his own he party. He wanted them to all make well, a good speech. Good on you. So yeah. you'd do a eulogy for someone you've never I'd do a met. eulogy for someone. So can you give me an example? Like of, uh, you've just t- turned up to a, a funeral. Yeah. And for some reason you're standing in front of everyone. Everyone's crying. Yeah. That was so loved. You don't even know if it's a boy or a girl. Don't need to. What would you say? Gee, they will be lost. Gee, they will be lost. I'll be crying. And I lost. go, yeah, they I <clears throat> was their lover. Missed. Yeah, missed. I will, 
I know where they them. are. They're in the box behind you. Oh, God, I just found them. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go, I was their lover. And I love oh. them more than anything in the world. And I just start like, um, if you've seen the film Saltburn, and no, I, I just start humping the gravestone. Is that what the movie's about? It's all the whole movie's about. <laughs> <laughs> There's one bit in it where he's making love to the <clears throat> spoilers, where he's making love to the to the grave. I would do that, and I would um, <laughs> I would be crying, but I'd still be talking, and then I'd make a few like little quips. I've got some jokes like here. In that jokes, I'd like to, yeah. In so, jokes. so I go. I know a lot of jokes about unemployed people, <laughs> but none of them work. <laughs> I do, so I do that sort of gear. Yes, they and, love it. Yeah, and I'd say my wife says I'm getting fatter, but to be fair, I've had a lot on my plate recently. <laughs> Tom's laughing again. <laughs> Because it gets the crowd going. What would you do? Would, would you? I think I'd compete in the Olympics. But you're a very sporty girl. No. Tom, <laughs> you're a sports I can, girl. I can do TM. a cartwheel. But also, do you, remember, do you remember Eddie the Eel? Yep. Do you remember him? Do mm-hmm. you remember? Mm-hmm. He did love I don't believe Eel. you that you know. We loved him. Mm. He could not finish that. Did he finish it? It just took him so long. Do you have to have breaks? I, I just remember he was the slowest swimmer. So for those who don't remember, was it the, it was a two thousand Olympics, mm-hmm. and this man from which country? Oh, you seem to know all the facts, Africa, there, bro. Africa, the country, Africa, and he, um, and he was he he got was a real ill. He was. A <laughs> what? It was a real ill. It was a real ill. Wow. It was really dangerous. It's crazy. It they let him real. They called yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> And he <laughs> is this thing on? And he, he had to compete. I think it's a four hundred meter race. It, I, I couldn't swim four hundred meters. And I've swum I before. It's not, no, 400 metres is like, is, um, what, eight laps. That's yeah, not that really much. Far. It was way more than that. Was it? Yeah, no, I think yeah. it was only a little. Okay, well, man, even if I couldn't swim 400 metres. You could. No, I couldn't. I've said it. I'm training you how to swim. And I couldn't. And then, but he could not get to the end. He didn't have arms. He's an eel. And cheered and cheered. It was Morgan's cousin's girlfriend. <laughs> Um, and he just swam and swam and swam and he just Tom's on his phone, he's having a bad time. <laughs> I'm just not going well with Tom. No, Eddie the Eel. And people had finished ages before, but everyone Eric. loved Eric. Eric, Eddie the Eagle, Eric the Eel. But everyone loved Different Eric. animals. Different names. <laughs> different, different men. Different men? Different men. Different Look sport. it up. Um, I got every single fact in that story correct. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved it. Can I tell you this? That's the way it is. I loved it. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Eric. Musambani Malonga. Mm-hmm. He is an Equ- Equatorian swimmer. Yes. Swimmer, correct. Uh, That's what I remember. <laughs> That's literally what I said. He had never seen an Olympic-sized swimming pool before. <laughs> I've never seen it. I'm at the Olympics. I hang on. Swam. He's never seen a pool before. Of the 100 meter freestyle, <laughs> it was only go. two laps. Wow. It's a long way. I couldn't. I honestly don't think I could do a hundred. What is this body of water? It took him the one minute fifty two seconds. So the slowest time in Olympic history by far. He had trouble finishing the race, hmm. but he won his heat after both his competitors were disqualified due to false starts. They must have been furious. Yeah. <laughs> it was the Equatorial Guinea national record. I love that. He I later became that. the coach of the national swimming squad of oh Equatorial Guinea. Of course he did. How is there legend. not a movie about Eric the Eel? Yeah, Let's make so it. True. Okay. Who would you cast? Uh, well, Chris I, th- I feel like I've made it pretty clear. I'll cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> I feel Who like was the best Equatorial Gideon actor, would you say? Yeah, God. I'm not sure. But, well, I, but I can't even name one. There's so many. So obviously, it's, <clears throat> obviously, you just compete in the Olympics. And yes. everyone would see that you were obviously have had some kind of disadvantage. With me, they'd be like, well, she's almost 40. <laughs> <laughs> and she weighs 70 kilos. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know if she's supposed to be here, but she looks confident and she is wearing the shit out of that. She leotard. looks good. Let's just say that. She looks good. And I know, like, the arms out. Yeah. And you just feel like, oh, she's upset about that. Camera's too hot after I did I that. I hate that. The after camera got too that. hot. Very sexy. Hot, Very sexy. So that is, um, yeah, that's what I do. Easy. Can Easy. I just do, can I just do one more for you? Would you rather, Tom? I've sure. already done this one before, but really, um, Sam really struggled with this one. Okay. No, that's true. Would you rather strawberry highbrow? Is that okay? Mm-hmm. It's fine. It's Would fine you rather drink, drink your own wee mm. for like every beverage? Every so like beverage. you go to a restaurant and everyone has like a Shiraz and a Chardonnay, and you say oh, just a wine glass for me, mm-hmm. and then you pour a bottle of your own wee into the wine glass. Okay, and you have to act like that's completely normal. Yes, but if you want to join in, it is completely normal. It is normal. Or mm-hmm. that's up for, that's forever. Or that's forever. Carry around. <laughs> That's a forever one. <laughs> Carry around in your pocket with no bag one of your own poos 
for the whole day and you have to visit as many people as possible and you have to, when people go, what's that smell? I'll go, oh, I've just got one of my poos in my pocket. <laughs> it's normal. And that's Do just a, one day. Just one day, but you have to go to gigs, you have to go to the shops, you have to see your mum. <laughs> you have to see your mum. <laughs> <laughs> have got a date. You have to go on your date with your mum. <laughs> you love your mum. And when everyone brings Wait, it up, of course they'll bring it up. You can't just whack that in. The pill with the pocket, oh, and also you fuck your mum. No. No, you don't have to fuck your mum. No, no, no that goes that. for everyone. You don't That's have to fuck your mum. Yeah. That goes <laughs> for everyone. It's one of my tattoos. Please don't fuck your mum. <laughs> Please don't fuck your mum. <laughs> All right, so every day forever, the only drink you're allowed to drink is the wee. Very publicly. I've got to do the one poo day. Well, you'll, you'll get one that poo day in so life. That is so embarrassing. I chose that too. <laughs> <laughs> Carry a pill around confidently. <laughs> I'm confident. It'd be so squashed. It would, but it'd be fun. It would be fun. I think it's a great <laughs> story to tell. Because so I was going to say, because I said to Bron, I would just pretend it was Diggs's poo. Because sure. you can't, you've got to say it's yours. <laughs> yeah, what are these conversations? Yeah, what are these conversations That's I've had with people? Yeah. I'm holding my poo. You know, it's like sometimes you pour <laughs> apple juice into a glass and people think, oh, it looks like you're drinking yes. piss. But they'd be like, oh, no, this is my bottle of piss. No, it is no, 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 no. no. <laughs> you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the final segment. Yes. Life hack. Oh, life life hack? Hack. Yes, this I do. is good. This okay, is good. Great. Okay, this is a good one for people who are dating. I know that you've got a partner, so this might not be good for you, but it'll be good for any single people you know. Mm-hmm. If you want to weed out the fuck boys when you're a single person, mm. for the first date you go on, just bring heaps of kids. Your own kids, or okay. you just bring no, heaps of kids? Heaps of kids, and don't explain them. Okay, that's a life hack. Bron, some of your life hacks are just sentences. What do you mean? So, what, what, do, what you do you mean? You just bring heaps of kids. <laughs> Where do you get the kids from? Sometimes I read the life hacks on the internet. <laughs> and all the time you read them on the internet. Sometimes I make them up. <laughs> Was this a made up one or is this the internet one? Have a guess. I think it's an internet one. Incorrect. I made this bad boy up. Is, bad there boy. A, is there a risk that you will weed out just p- ordinary people too? Cause just no, because if they love you deep within themselves. Yes, but it's a first date. And they'll think, well. She's cool. She's, she's got eight kids. She's got sparkly eyes. I can't see anything but them. She refuses to answer my questions about the children, but I just, there's something about her. I can't. Yeah. Okay. If it's true love. I can't quit her. Ir- I cannot quit her. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried to quit her. I can't. And if they, if they can't see past the children. <laughs> <laughs> the children. The I many, can't see past the children. I can't see. There's a giant class of kids standing behind you. Some of them crying. You'd be All like, this, I crying. can't hear them. <laughs> and then and if they are upset, fuck boy. It's a fuck boy. That's a fuck boy situation. What do you think about that? I think it's great. I think you should, you know, any day turn mm. up covered in human feces. Yeah, that's uh, just speak in slang. Bucket. And if they can't see through that, <laughs> it's like, hit the road, mister. Because I want someone road, who wants mister. me for me. Do you mean like a poo in your pocket? Yeah, poo in the pocket. <laughs> it's like a classic poo in the pocket. Thank you for listening to your two <gasps> drunk aunties. Thank you, Tom, for joining us. How do people find you, Tom, and every wonderful thing that you do? Why the internet, of course. Oh, of course. Been a, I've been on it. Tom C. Ballard. You've been on Tom C. Ballard? At Tom C. Ballard? I've been there. Mm-hmm. I've been to there. <laughs> I've yes. been to there. Uh, TomBallard.com.au, comedy.com.au for my touring. I'm touring my 2024 show. Oh, my God. Good point, well made, <laughs> all over Australia. Yeah. <sighs> it's going to be a so great, great show. I've seen, yeah, I've seen Tom working good. out some of his gear. So have I. He's very good. Yeah, Tom's very good at what he does. You guys are good too. Thank you so very much. Kind. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. No, I think we just leave it for a cheers. while. I think no. we should sit in this. We have to say cheers and then it's over. Oh. Otherwise oh. Tom won't know what to do. Cheers. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, girls. Oh, wow. That's fun. <laughs>